Here comes the Here comes the Here comes the Y'all don't really want it like that. Yeah. Here comes the One team's trash is another team's treasure. With the Seattle Seahawks signing it another free agent from their own division, this time the San Francisco 49ers leading sack getter from last season, there's still one guy that the Seahawks have to pursue if they're to make a push for the Super Bowl next season. Resigning Ben Mayo was a step in the right direction, but at the end of the day, he's only a piece of the puzzle himself. That's right, today folks, we're gonna be talking about the one free agent that the Seahawks must sign, and who is Kerry Hyder Jr.? How old is he? Is he a replacement for Carlos Dunlap? Well, we'll get into all that later. Real quick, if you aren't already, please hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Join the family, join the team, hit that subscribe button. Be sure to drop a like, leave a comment. If you enjoyed, share this video with friends and family, tell a friend to tell a friend, and to keep up with all things Steezy A. Smith, be sure to find us on all social media platforms at Steezy A. Smith if you aren't already, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff. Now with that aside, you're tuning into Steezy A. Smith, and let's get to cooking. Yes, Carlos Dunlap remains a free agent, and after cutting him a couple of weeks ago to save 14 million in salary cap space, the Seahawks still, quite frankly, need him back. I get it. The Seahawks are bringing a Kerry Harder Jr. from the San Francisco 49ers, who led the team in sacks last year with eight and a half, seemingly out of nowhere. But as Bob Condota of the Seattle Times reported, Kerry Harder Jr. is expected to play at the five technique spot and not the Leo position. And so if that is to hold true, that doesn't preclude the team from bringing in Carlos Dunlap. Now I understand money might be an issue and Seattle is quickly running out of cap space with the addition of Kerry Harder Jr. and the re-signing of Benson Mayoa. Benson Mayo re-upped on a two-year deal worth up to $8.88 million, and Kerry Hyder Jr. is coming in on a three-year contract worth up to $17.5 million, with the third year being avoidable. So in turn, the contract becomes a two-year $6.5 million deal with the third year that's, like I said earlier, voidable. Why does Seattle exactly need to bring Carlos Dunlap back into the fold? Well, for the lowly cost of a seventh round pick, he came in and provided all this in just eight games. He had five sacks, 18 pressures, two game-saving sacks against the Washington football team and the Arizona Cardinals, and the Seahawks went from having 12 sacks in, its, in seven combined games to putting in a league-high 37 sacks through the last 10 games to finish seventh in the NFL with 46 total sacks. And that was all after Carlos Dunlap's arrival. Not only did his impact and his presence on the Seattle Seahawks provide an instant spark, but it turned one of the worst defenses in all the NFL into a top 10 unit the second half of last season. Now, I understand, like I said earlier, he's asking for a lot of money, and right now Seattle just doesn't have that. If the Seahawks are looking to restructure some of their current contracts, like Russell Wilson, Bobby Wagner, maybe even looking to extending Dwayne Brown, Tyler Lockett, or Jamal Adams, then that's how the team can create more cap space to sign Carlos Dunlap. Now, with the defensive end market being overly saturated, Carlos Dunlap shouldn't command too much money with guys like Justin Houston, Jadavian Clowney still on the board. Carlos Dunlap just doesn't have much of a market. And as John Clayton of 710 ESPN noted, most of the teams that have a 4 3 formation or that run a 4 3 formation on defense, they already have most of the defensive ends set. And so that makes it even more ideal and makes it even more realistic for Seattle to bring back Carlos Dunlap on a much cheaper number. Seeing as how he's only 32 years old and has, hasn't played for a title contending team in years, he should have a lot left in the tank. And so if Seattle's going to make a run for the Super Bowl next season, and if Seattle's going to return that top 10 defense that they displayed the second half of last season, Carlos Dunlap must come back. And bringing in Kerry Hodder Jr. does not prevent the Seahawks from bringing back Carlos Dunlap. Now with that out of the way, who is Kerry Hodder Jr. and what is he going to bring to the table? How old is he and is he a replacement for Carlos Dunlap? Well, to answer that last question, no, he's not going to replace Carlos Dunlap because, as I said earlier, Bob Condota of Seattle Times reported that he's going to be playing mostly at the five technique spot, or for those of you who aren't familiar with that term, the defensive tackle spot. He's versatile in that he can play both defensive end and defensive tackle, and as we all know, Pete Carroll loves those guys who are versatile on the defensive line. Think. Think back to Cliff Averill. Think back to Michael Bennett. Kerry Hodder Jr. has some of those same traits. He's 6'2", 270 pounds. He's going on 30 years old, but he can play both defensive tackle and defensive end. After filling in week three last season as a starter for both Nick Bosa and Solomon Thomas, he went on an absolute tear and had eight and a half sacks, 49 tackles, and a multitude of pressures en route to leading the team in sacks. Now you bring in that eight and a half total and you would have been second on the Seattle Seahawks in sacks behind Jamal Adams as 
nine and a half. And so you're not just bringing in the scrub. He went undrafted in 2014, started his career off with the Jets, had a couple of years with the Detroit Lions, had a successful year with them. Uh, I think his last season with the Detroit Lions with eight sacks. Then he tore his Achilles in 2017. He tore his Achilles tendon, missed an entire year, came back in 2018 with the Lions, put up only one sack, left the team that year to join the Dallas Cowboys and only had one sack with them. So he kind of fell off the face of the earth. But coming over to coming over to San Fran, they didn't expect him to fill in a huge role as he was behind Nick Bosa and Solomon Thomas. But because of the season ending injuries that they suffered on the New York Jets home field, home turf last season in week two, like I said, he filled in a week three and proceeded to have the best season of his career. Now, for him to come to Seattle on a two-year, $6.5 million deal is an absolute steal. What if the eight and a half sacks are just a sign of things to come? While he might be going on 30 years old, he still has a lot left in the tank. As, as I mentioned earlier, he went undrafted and has barely been a rotation player throughout the entirety of his career. Despite the eight sack season that he had back in 2016, he was a rotational player then and played below half of the team's defensive snaps. And so with him coming to Seattle, him being another fixture, him being another body to rotate on the defensive line, him being another guy that could play both defensive tackle and defensive end, He's going to be a versatile chess piece for Pete Carroll and the defense to use. And I truly believe that we've still yet to see the very best of him. And he's just going to be hitting his stride in Seattle. With all that being said, how do you guys feel about the Kerry Hyder addition in Seattle? How do you guys feel about the re-signing of Benson Mayo? Is this enough to address our pass rush? Or do we still need to bring in Carlos Dunlap? Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Should we bring back Carlos Dunlap? Are you happy with Kerry Hyder Jr. and Benson Mayo? If you want to join the family, join the team. Hit that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Be sure to share this video, friends and family alike. Hit that like button. Drop a comment for us. Hope you guys enjoyed. While well, that concludes this video, don't stop watching there. Be sure to check out our channel homepage for lots of other content, for loads of other Steezy A. Smith content. Nothing but love and Steezy out.